friends, Romans, fellow teachers who've just had a bank holiday and just need to relax. Well, I'm hoping that the work that I'm sharing with you today will give you a lot of cause for relaxation. Okay, now as you've noticed previously on my channel, my channel which is there to help businesses get off the ground with their ICT systems, there to help students learn about a variety of IT and computing topics, and there to help teachers with their administration. Now, many of you, you will be preparing to teach the info for what is usually done as a database coursework for AQA. Now, to help you with that, I've got two companion resources. So my video today will be a little bit longer than I usually like, but if you bear with it for a few minutes, I'm sure you'll find it's worth your while. Now, what do I want? Nothing's locked. Everything's free. Just like and share. I would request that you direct your students or you direct just to go via this channel okay and access the links which are available underneath this video via Dropbox you don't need a Dropbox account just click it and then click on the X and click download now then when you've downloaded these files I'm going to talk you through the word document first now you'll all have see you'll all know how to do headers and footers and you'll all know how to do a table of contents what's special about this well I'll tell you now as you go as the student goes through this template, they'll see that the relevant marks of the mark scheme are copied and pasted into the relevant section. So as the student looks at the introduction section, he knows he's got to do the introduction. As the student goes to the outline section, they know how many marks the AQA are going to award him, and he knows how much effort and work to put into it. Now, some of these things are mentioned twice. So for example, if I go to business case, that's mentioned on the first table, row three and row four. Now, there's a total of four marks, two bands of two. This is where you'll be thinking, wouldn't it be great if I had a tracking system to go with this? Well, today's your lucky day. If today's you've been looking for resources for info for, like and share, spread the love, direct your teachers, direct your students to this template because what goes with it? You get for free unlocked no catches a register system now before i talk with the register system you'll notice that i've got a tracking system you'll notice here that keywords okay from the heading from the aqa specification from the mark grid are mentioned now every time they're mentioned in the grid they might be mentioned more than once so for here on rows three and four business case stated twice you'll notice you've got the row reference at the top got the maximum mark for each role mentioned there now Muhammad Ali of course how can you fail to give anyone Muhammad Ali a grade A but you'll notice here that it's conditionally formatted according to the maximum mark so it turns green for the maximum mark yellow for an intermediate mark and red for a low mark you will notice that it's not only conditionally formatted it is data formatted as well now the whole system is protected now this is a convenient Point to tell you about the register many times when you do an a-level course people will go up and they'll ask how their student is doing the register is a unique part of this now what I've done you type your name in there and it will cascade to the other part of the tracking sheet I'm going to show you now on the register you can copy and paste the name and time of your students this attendance is a running total and in set up in a very print friendly format okay 10 weeks worth of lessons okay and when you print it off it'll repeat the top and it'll repeat the side now you might want to record in a lesson that there's been a behavior issue or a work issue or reason for lateness these are tallied here in these columns so when a parent you can go yeah Muhammad he's been to all the lessons that I have delivered so far okay we your issues on two occasions he was late work late once with his work now to help you each week and it will calculate the rest of the weeks for you it will only cells where you've put a value so for here for example if i put muhammad ali is present there it's still a percent because that was your day off that's the register covered now going back to the sheet you'll notice i've given muhammad ali an a here i'm just going to give him the last marks and as I've said to you before, all of these marks are data validated, conditionally formatted, 
and they follow the outline of this template. Where there's two bands for a task, it's cross-referenced more than once. So for example here, you've got marks for the user guide. Okay, you've got seven marks in total. Okay, and you can give them for each of the respective bands. Now, on this sheet, it records the mean mark and the highest mark, which in this case is Muhammad Ali on 62. Now, you don't need to do anything with this side. It's very easy, okay? This sheet is protected. You can unprotect it if you want to. There's no password. However, all of these values are pre-calculated for you. You'll see there the target. Muhammad Ali was got an A. That was two grades above target. That means he had outstanding. Progress. Remember, guys, as far as Ofsted are concerned, if you're on target, you require improvement because you've only achieved what you should have anyway. Now, that's it, really. Okay, what I'd like to do, guys, at this point in time is I would like to thank you for listening. I'd like to remind you that Parker Tutorial Services is there to help business get their IT systems off the ground. It's there to students with the core work because there's going to be lots of lessons there on programming on SQL and on spreadsheets and on how to build networks and it's there to help teachers with the, the administration stuff now I'm going to press here for no other reason than to stop my recording okay what I'd like to do is thank you for listening please remember I can share